<laughs> Viva La Vega! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And this week's question and answer is, are music and art valuable tools to communicate the vegan message? This is a good one. Um, I encourage anything creative and anything that reminds us of our connections to each other, to the planet and to our animal friends. So definitely I agree that music and art are really valuable. Connecting to others with, through music, through art, through spoken word, through literature, it's um, amazing when you connect with these people and in particular people that get what you're talking about or they're coming from the same sort of place that you are. And um, this creates your own tribe. And by working together, we can all enact the changes that we really need to work towards in this world. Music, sound, chanting, the voice, these are all powerful healing tools. And I'm currently reading this amazing book called The Mozart Effect. And I really think you should check it out if you haven't read about it already. And um, if, you th if you think about the things that have inspired you in the past, whether it's music, art, books, movies, photography, these are all massive um, change sort of instigators and they have massive potential to influence people and to influence them greatly. And I really think that um, these things can be used in a as a great tool to promote the vegan message. I have a lot of vegan friends, especially in the US, who actually went vegan due to the punk, hardcore and straight edge music scenes and they just wouldn't have known about the vegan sort of scene unless they had been aware of these bands or these music or these performers. So that's definitely one of, one of the things that I hear spoken about quite a lot is due to that music. Many people have gone vegan and or straight edge. And keep in mind that a lot of people in the public eye are looked up to. So a lot of people that aren't aware of certain things will pay more attention to these people just because they look up to them. And it's important for people to see the things that they're passionate about it and to absorb the things that they're interested in. Um, in my past, I was going to be a rock star and I had a bit of a break from that and from writing music the past few years. But I'm hoping to get back into it soon and create positive and inspiring music instead of my heartbreak songs. I have a spoken word piece that I perform at various animal rights and vegan events called Piece by Piece. And um, it's very moving and thought provoking for a lot of people and it's, it's very heartbreaking because it's from the beginning to end of um, a cow getting cut up really for, for slaughter. Um, it's pretty intense but I think it really gets across to people when it needs to. I've also created recycled lyric clothing in the past and I had an online store when I was studying. I created art pieces for this amazing um, movement called Paper Girl where people submit art and then it gets randomly distributed to people on bikes. And I used animal facts and cute animal photos and I, this was a great way that I chose to spread compassion in a random way. Um, we all have this life and we have certain gifts to use within this life and we can use our energies for good or bad or for positive or for negative. Music, art and other creative forms connect, inform, inspire and can truly instigate change. And I think that that's something that we really need to focus on and we should definitely be making this happen. However you are creative, use those tools and let's get some changes happening. I hope you join us every Tuesday for these videos and our question and answer series. And next week's is, what should I do to ensure my diet is healthy? Thank you and see vivalavegan.net for more.